Okay, yeah, so the first thing we need to just check, um, I'm not sure what model the machine is, but if we log into, okay, we don't actually need to log into the machine, but if we go to the, the machine's web address, uh, I'm not sure if you've got the machine's web address, but if you go to the machine, press the system menu button, then go to report and then print a status page, you will see on the bottom left quadrant, uh, underneath the network tab, you'll see IPv4 and then you'll see IP address. So just take that IP address, put that into your web browser like this, and then you can go to the address book, machine address book. Um, and then we can click on add here. So I'm just gonna call this test, the host name. So let's make sure we got the host name of the machine. So if you open up a command prompt, host, host name, we've got the Dell XPS there. So I'm just gonna copy that, paste that in there. Port, it can either be 139 or 445, but if it's Windows 10, it's probably gonna be 445. The path, so if we go push the Windows button R, backward slash, backward slash, uh, local host, that will then bring up, you can see there's actually no shared folders right now on my computer. So let me go make a folder. So I'm just gonna to go to the C drive. New folder, just call it scan all lowercase. Or if I do put other case or anything else in there, we'll just need to make sure we copy that when we're putting that on the machine. So easiest thing to do is go to properties, sharing, click on share there. Now you'll see I'm the owner of the sort of folder, so it's gonna allow me to share it like that. Uh, so you'll just need to select that user. If it was another user, called, then, okay, it's not for actually finding that there. But if you don't, do you have another username or if the user that uh, we're gonna be using on the address book isn't on there, we just need to add them and then make sure that it's either got uh, full permissions or sorry, read and write permissions on there, so click on share. Uh, okay, see I'm on a public network, so it's limiting right now. So we need to just change that uh, to a private network so that it'll allow that folder to actually be visible from the photocopier. Okay, we can click done now. So now, if I go to this little tab that I did with the local host, you should see scan there. So whatever the folder name you see there, exactly how you see it there, you need to then just, so okay, so that's all scan lowercase. You're gonna start in your scan all in lowercase. Now the username would be my username for the PC. And then the password for the PC. It's not gonna work now, just because Windows 10, you need to just enable a feature so to enable that feature, we're going to push the Windows button and X, go through to apps and features, then make sure you full screen this because you see this over here where it says programs and features. Okay, when it's the screen's a little bit smaller, it doesn't actually show it. So make sure it's full screen and then you'll see this programs and features. Let's click on that. Now we need to turn a Windows feature on and off. Okay, so we just need to scroll down here, go to SMB. Make sure that SMB server is ticked here and make sure that SMB version one automatic rem removal is unticked. You'll need to click, tick that. It's gonna take a second or two to install this. Um, I'm just gonna pause the video so it's not so long. I can pause the video. Okay. Okay, so that uh, is now installed. You will need to restart the computer for this to take effect. Uh, so once that's installed that SMB version one server, you will need to restart the computer. It's not gonna take effect if the computer hasn't been restarted. So now the other thing we just need to check, open network and internet settings here. Make sure that, okay, so it's on a domain, so it's not gonna give me that option here. So make sure where it says here that you connect it to the network, make sure it doesn't say uh, public. If it's saying pu public, your computer's blocking all the ports and it's locking the computer down so that nothing will be able to send anything to it and especially that folder. So if it is, you can click on change connection properties and you see it is actually on public there. So we just need to change that to private. 
Uh, once that's changed to private, everything else should be fine. Let's just go to test. Don't actually think it's going to work because that SMB version one wasn't installed, although this is a newer machine, so it shouldn't be an issue. Because I've actually got a domain user, I might need to change that username. And also because of that SMB version one, it's probably not going to be working. Okay, so I'm just going to stop the video here. Take a look at all the things that I explained in there. Um, if it still isn't working, uh, the easiest thing would be just a TeamViewer session because then I can take a look at the system and see exactly maybe what the problem is. I think, let's just put in my domain here. 